colonoscopy and virtual colonoscopy represent what we feel are the, the best tests for colorectal cancer screening. Some of the advantages of virtual colonoscopy include that it, it is a safer test, it's more convenient for patients, uh, it's just as effective in detection, and it also can find things outside of the colon that are occasionally uh, unsuspected but, but clinically significant. Um, in terms of patient safety and convenience, it doesn't require any pain medication or IV. Uh, you can drive yourself home after the test and return to your uh, regular activities immediately, which is different from colonoscopy. Now the downside is uh, there's a small chance, about 5%, that we find a large polyp in an asymptomatic individual, in which case colonoscopy could be performed the same day. Uh, the reason we set it up that way is a patient then only needs to undergo the bowel preparation once and can take care of everything in, in a one-stop shop setting. In our most recent New England Journal paper where we compared virtual colonoscopy and conventional colonoscopy in about 3,000 patients in each arm, they were equally effective in detecting what we call advanced neoplasms, which means large polyps and cancers, the things that we really uh, are focusing on. And, uh, and it was able to do it in a, in a safer way and more cost-effective way as well. So they're virtually identical in terms of, of effectiveness for the colon, but it also adds the, uh, the additional evaluation of everything outside of the colon as well. Patients do undergo a bowel preparation. Now we use a, a very low vol volume preparation, so it's not four liters of, that some people might be uh, familiar with. It's a low volume bowel prep the night before. Uh, and then the day of, it takes about 15 minutes and does require some uh, low pressure gaseous uh, distension or inflation of the colon to, to allow for our pictures. You basically, at that point, it's a CT scan and you hold your breath a couple of times and, and then your part is done as, as the patient. The, the images are then sent uh, for reconstruction and 2D and 3D manipulation. That's what the radiologist does behind the scenes. Uh, so they're very different exams in the end, but, but end up with very similar uh, diagnostic information.